everyone, it's Danny, and today's video is going to be my February favourites and again February has just gone so quickly and I don't really feel like I've tried out and found that many new favourites but when I was looking through my collection I do have quite a few new favourites to share with you. So the first favourite of mine is something which I've been deeming a bit of an essential because where it's winter I don't really feel the need to wear a heavy SPF but because I do use sort of chemical exfoliators and things like that I do still feel like I need to protect my skin that little bit more so I've been using this lately which is the Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is their new protect version and this is great because it's their normal foundation primer so it does help to keep your makeup on for a lot longer but it does have SPF 30 in there as well and it is broad spectrum spectrum protection so it does protect you against both UVA and UVB rays which is great because obviously you can basically just use this as a sun cream and in the summer I would probably use a proper sun cream and something with a higher SPF but for the winter and spring this is doing me just fine and then the next favourite I thought I'd get out of the way quite quickly because it was in last month's favourites as well but for anyone that didn't watch that video I wanted to include it again because I have been using it almost every day and it is the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint and this is just a really gorgeous lightweight tinted moisturiser. I would say it's less coverage than most tinted moisturisers I've tried but I do really love it because it just really evens out the skin and gives you a gorgeous glow and it does have SPF 20 in there as well for a little bit of sun protection and yeah I just really love it. It just makes my skin look so healthy and natural and although it does cover up some imperfections and redness it still does look quite light and feels quite light on the skin so I do really love this and I definitely recommend it. My next favourite is a shampoo and since my hair's been in a lot better condition I have been using some more volumizing shampoos because it's needed washing more and I feel like volumizing shampoos also help with that so I don't have to wash my hair as much and it gives me volume which is great so the one which I've been loving is the Ojon Volume Advanced Shampoo and this is just a really lovely shampoo it's meant to be for fine and limp hair but obviously my hair isn't really fine but it is a little bit limp and it can go quite flat it's a really weird consistency it's almost like marmalade which is really strange to put in your hair but it does really cleanse your hair and it gives it a lot of volume after you've washed it but I do find that it doesn't strip my hair like a lot of volumizing shampoos do. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who has fine hair or limp hair or hair like mine that just needs a little bit of volume but is already quite thick because it does give you that volume but it doesn't strip it at the same time. Whilst I'm on the theme of hair I thought I would include this one which is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender and I think I've spoken about this before I'm not really sure it was in my haul which was a couple of videos back and I do absolutely love it. I purchased a full size recently because my sample size ran out and I do not think I could be without it. It just really primes your hair for whatever you're going to do so if you're going to straighten it it keeps it straight for a lot longer and it helps it to stay a lot more volumized if you use volumizing products and I do find it helps me to not need to wash my hair as often which obviously I said is a big problem now as my hair is a lot healthier so I really do love this and it's just really great for extending your style which is basically it's claim so yeah I do really like this and I definitely recommend it if you find your hair goes frizzy or gets greasy quite easily. Going back to makeup and one thing which I've been loving ever since I picked it up is the Revlon Colour Matte Balm in the shade Sultry and this is just a really gorgeous lipstick for if you want something that's quite natural but still a bit of colour because most nude lipsticks are quite light but I find that this one is nude on me but it's quite a lot darker and it's quite a lot pinker and it does have some brown in there so it is sort of a deep pink lipstick but more on the nude side of pink if you get what I mean. I would say this would suit sort of my skin tone and darker best because it is quite dark and I think on paler skin tones it could look quite mature although obviously that means if you are a bit more of a mature woman that you would love this and it would really suit you. One thing I love is that these basically look like a lipstick because they have a lot of pigmentation and they are quite matte but they do still have a tiny bit of a sheen to them and they are quite buttery so they really don't dry out your lips so I really love these and the formula is great because obviously they're in stick form so it's really easy to just throw on without a mirror even and they're so easy to touch up. So the next favourite is a bit of a surprise to me because when I first picked this up I really did not like it and I just pretty much discarded it and did not use it at all but I recently thought I'd give it another go and I do really like it now and it is the Maybelline Brow Drama and I have the shade Dark Brown and this is just really nice to use if you want to comb through your brows and keep them in place but you also want a little bit of colour. The formula 
formula is quite thin so I find that when I wear it on its own I can't really notice the tint at all but when I wear it with brow powder it just helps to give them a little bit more shape and it helps them to look more natural I find because it does give the hairs a little bit more colour so they don't look so powdery. I really like the brush as well because it's got this ball on the end and then a sort of thin mascara wand which I really like because you can brush through the front with the ball and then it sort of brushes through the back bits at the same time with the straight bit so I really like that and it's just really quick and easy to use and although the formula is thin it really does set your brows in place and keep them in place all day. Now that I'm on a roll with makeup I may as well finish off my makeup favourites before moving on to the other bits so my next favourite is the Topshop Glow in Polished and this is basically a creamy highlighter and it's a really gorgeous pale pearl champagne shade. I used this in quite a few videos, I think I used it in my previous video so if I did I'll link that down below but if not I think I used it in my Valentine's Day video so I'll link that down below. So yeah anyway I really do like this, it's a really affordable product at only £9 but it's probably one of the best cream highlighters I've ever tried. It's a really creamy consistency which means it just blends into the skin so easily and it looks really natural but still gives you a really nice sheen so I do really love it and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a creamy highlight which is really easy to to blend in and looks quite natural but does still highlight really well. And then the final makeup bit is this product from Lipstick Queen. I think I got this in a Space and K gift bag over Christmas time but it's just this sort of gloss. It's a cream blush and a lip product in one. It's one of their oxymoron matte glosses and it's in the shade Deafening Silence and I really love it because it's sort of a nudey pinky shade similar to what I'd normally wear on my lips but I do like it best as a cream blush actually. It sort of sculpts the cheeks whilst giving you a little bit of colour as well which I really love and where it's a cream formula it looks really natural and it does give you a little bit of a sheen which is really nice because I don't really like matte formulas on days where I'm sort of not wearing much makeup and I want to look quite natural. Onto a skincare product and this is a product which I picked up a couple of months ago with some of my Space and K points and I sort of forgot about it for a couple of weeks but I have been using it a lot recently and I do actually really love it and it is a Jerlic Herbal Recovery Antioxidant Gel Mask. It's kind of an interesting mask in that it doesn't really do all that much. It's meant to sort of detoxify the skin and give you a bit of a glow and a hydration boost which I do really like because my skin can be quite dull and dehydrated. It includes a range of botanicals to help exfoliate your skin and it also includes vitamin E to help with dehydration and help give your skin a bit of radiance and help with any fine lines or anything like that. So when you first apply this you can't really notice all that much of a difference to your skin. It does feel a lot softer and smoother but you can't really notice the glow or the hydration levels right away but it's when you wake up in the morning that you really notice the difference. So each time I've used this when I wake up my skin just feels so soft and smooth and plump and it also looks really glowy and it just looks like basically new skin and any makeup that I put over the top just looks so much nicer and it sits so much better and I just feel like I always have this lip from within glow after I've used this. Where it helps to detoxify the skin I also feel like it feels really clean which is really nice as well because it just makes everything that you put on it feel a lot nicer. Finally a couple of miscellaneous bits and the first one is my Tangle Teaser and I've had this for quite a while and I used to only use it on wet hair but recently I've been using it as my hairbrush for dry hair as well and I do actually really love it. Since I got my hair cut or since I've had it cut the past couple of times it's been a lot easier to brush but I still get quite a few tangles so I've been using this and it's just really helped to brush through my hair really easily and leave it looking really sleek and to help minimise breakage. I do think this is great for getting the tangles out of your hair. It isn't that great at getting knots out but my hair doesn't get that knotty now just a bit tangly so this has been working really great for me and I do recommend it if you have quite fine hair or even thick hair because my hair is quite thick that just needs a little bit of help getting tangles out and you want something quite gentle. And then finally is something which I got for Christmas and it is the Clarisonic Mia 2 and this is something which I didn't really use all that much when I first got it. I've only really been using it a lot within February and I have been really loving it. Sometimes I find with chemical exfoliators although they do help to give you a bit of a glow and help to make your skin feel really smooth I don't find that they get rid of all of the dry patches or help to really cleanse your skin all that much. So that's why I've been loving the Clarisonic because it really helps your skin to feel fresh and clean and it also makes it feel really really smooth and you can use this a lot more often than chemical exfoliators. I use this sort of every other morning and I have really been liking using it. I have been using it on and off for the past six weeks but I've only really been frequently using it for the past week or two so I haven't really got to the point yet of where my skin is purging so my skin does look alright at the moment but I will do a review on it after I've got through the purging stage. So at the moment I definitely recommend it but obviously I will wait until I've used it for a few months to give you my full verdict. So that's all of my February 
February favourites guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some good recommendations out of it. It's now March which is my birthday month and I'm so excited, I think I'm going to Brighton so if you have any places you recommend I visit or any food places you recommend I try out and eat at because I really want to go there and try a really nice breakfast, a really nice lunch and a really nice dinner. And also if there's any good shops I should check out definitely let me know because I will be doing some shopping of course. And the sun is finally out today so I'm hoping that spring is on its way, it is still a bit cold but it's finally a bit sunny which I'm so happy about. Oh and do remember to leave me questions in the comments section or tweet me questions because I'm doing my question and answers video at the end of this month. So yeah anyway enough of me rambling as usual all of my links and all of the products mentioned will be in the description bar down below and I will also leave what makeup I'm wearing in the description because I have been asked to do that a couple of times so I will. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more of my videos and do let me know in the comments any of your favourite products from this month and I'll see you next time. Bye!